Well, India not only showing off its military capabilities in those Russian exercises, but also at home, commissioning its first domestically built aircraft carrier. The cost of that? Two and a half billion dollars. Beset with delays, it took more than a decade to build, but still an important sign of progress in India's defence manufacturing capabilities. Rekabandhan has more from Mumbai. INS Vikrant, India's first locally designed and built aircraft carrier, comes in at 45,000 tonnes. It's 262 metres in length and 60 metres high. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who attended the commissioning ceremony, said that it's a reflection of the country's push towards self-reliance. It wasn't an easy process, taking 13 years to build. But INS Vikrant is considered to be an enormous sign of progress for the country's defence industry, which currently imports most of its military equipment from Russia, something which has become more controversial following Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. The country's existing aircraft carrier is a 40-year-old vessel which was used by the Soviet Navy. The new ship has a capacity for 1,600 crew and 30 jets and helicopters. It's described as a floating city, which boasts a 16-bed hospital and a kitchen with machinery to make 3,000 chapatis an hour. Defence analysts say that INS Vikrant improves India's strategic position in the region, as tensions with China have escalated since deadly border clashes between the two countries in 2020. Basically, an aircraft carrier, as you know, is all about the ability of a nation to project power. It puts India in the category of a maritime military nation. Otherwise, there are a lot of maritime nations, but maritime military uh, prowess. Now, our uh, regional rival, Pakistan, does not have an aircraft carrier. Having two aircraft carriers still leaves India behind China, which launched its third one in June and has the world's largest navy. India has yet to start work on its next aircraft carrier. India is still dependent on Russian-designed jets for the carrier, but media reports point to Boeing and Dassault being locked in a race to provide new jets for INS Vikrant. Rebecca Bundan, CNA, Mumbai.